With us now is Newsmax contributor Doug Schoen, one of the nation's preeminent political pundits. Doug is the author of the brand new book, Hopelessly Divided, The New Crisis in American Politics and What It Means for 2012 and Beyond. And Doug, it's good to have you with us today. Thanks for having me, Kathleen. Well, the pressure was on Paul Ryan to keep the momentum uh, gained during Mitt Romney's debate performance last week. The pressure was on Joe Biden to break that momentum. Was either candidate effective in doing so? I think Biden was arguably more effective. He had passion. He made a better case than the president did for the administration's record. I thought uh, Paul Ryan was competent, uh, no more, uh, no less. I thought he did best on question on Benghazi. I thought the rest of the debate was more talking points than it was uh, a breakthrough. So who do you think will drive out more votes for their respective running mate? I'm not sure that this is going to change too many votes. I do think that Biden, at the very least, froze the narrative and the hemorrhaging that's been going on substantively and message-wise on the Obama side was, it was neutralized, at least for tonight. What voting group, uh, women, minorities, men, uh, do you think that Paul Ryan appealed to the most this evening? I think Paul Ryan spoke well to swing voters, making the case that the uh, Ryan... Romney agenda is not an extreme one. However, I don't think he had the passion or the empathy that Governor Romney had last week. Now, Joe Biden repeatedly uh, suggested that Paul Ryan was a liar, using words like malarkey, blustering, loose talk. Is that the only strategy that Team Obama has right now? The Obama strategy, regrettably, is to demonize the opposition. I thought Biden's substance was more credible and effective than his mannerisms or some of his rhetoric. But in politics, uh, it's all part of a package. And I think the Obama campaign has sadly decided that demonization is a better strategy than trying to win on the merits. The Biden eye rolling and giggling, how's, how's that going to play uh, with voters? I think that was most off-putting. While I said Biden's substance was arguably compelling, I thought the eye rolling and the laughing was off-putting and disturbing. Martha Raddatz of ABC News, how do you think she did? Was she fair? I think she was fair. I think she was effective. And I don't think it was a better discussion on the merits than the presidential debate. OK, last question for you, Doug. You're recognized as one of the co-inventors of overnight polling. What do you think overnight polls will tell us tomorrow? I think they'll tell us a narrow but clear Democratic and Biden victory don't think it's going to move the vote. I think we went into this debate with a narrow uh, Romney-Ryan lead. I think we'll come out of it with the same lead. All right, Doug Schoen, thanks so much for being with Kathleen, us. Thank you for having me.